Hi everyone, it's Don and I hope you're having a fantastic week. Well, while I was gone, the boats came in and we have our winner from all those cruises that we picked. 12 different cruise lines and which one was our final winner? We had four finalists and I can probably see exactly why this turned out that way. So first off, let's look at our cruise line finalists. We had Carnival Cruise Lines, Princess Cruise Lines, Royal Caribbean Cruise Line, and Disney Cruise Line. All great cruise lines. It, you know, there's really no bad cruise line. If you like a cruise line, great. That's great. <laughs> you like the cruise line. There's benefits to every single cruise line out there. There's downfalls of every single cruise line out there. You know, uh, there's, there's no getting away from it. So our top winner with exactly 40% of the polls votes was Royal Caribbean. Can't really say anything surprising about that because Royal Caribbean, first of all, it's a large cruise line. And they have the largest ships in the world, not just one or two, but most of the largest ships in the world. They go everywhere. They travel everywhere. You can get on the small cruise ships. Some of the entertainment on board is fantastic with the Broadway shows like Mamma Mia and Grease and Hairspray. The way they've done their neighborhoods on their ships and they're always innovating as well. So, yeah, I can I perfectly see why. Uh, they came out second was Princess Cruise Lines close behind and closely followed up with them was Carnival and Disney almost tied together, which is, was a little bit of a surprise that Carnival and Disney were that close together. But I think it's because a lot of people don't really travel too much with Disney uh, without kids or it's just too out of their price range or they just uh, a little, you know, because of the itineraries, the itineraries are often only four or five day cruises on a lot of their ships. So it just doesn't match up to with what you want to do. So I can kind of see why it, it lined up with Carnival and then Princess a very close second. But if you're in terms of things to do on a ship, yeah, Royal Caribbean's going to be on that top leaderboard all the time. So coming up shortly, in the next week or so, I will do an in-depth breakdown of the Royal Caribbean fleet talk a little bit about all their different classes, all their different ships, and uh, why they won this, this cruise. So as far as this channel, Don's Family Vacations channel is concerned, doesn't matter what they say out there, our number one cruise line was Royal Caribbean. I hope you liked this update. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.